Hello and welcome to Dex, a free design weekly exercise from the Graphic Design School. My name is Tanya and today I'm going to show you how I achieved this GIF that I did with a mock-up and a type layered effect. So I decided to go back to one of my student projects that I did for the school and I wanted to do something fun with it. I did this um, project called Fatty, which was a keto bar and it would have been fun to do something else. So why not give it another shot and create a new I'm going to walk you through all the steps to achieve this result. All right, so to start off, you always want to keep your original writing and your swatches as well. So I just took the liberty of creating my new swatches and creating a new folder and I called it Fatty, which is much better because whenever you're going to be opening a file, you're going to have it. So here, if you want it to be saved in Photoshop and Illustrator, you're just going to go here and save library as ASE. So pretty easy. And then when you go back, you're going to see it here on user defined as fatty. All right, so now you just want to go into object, transform, and shear. So this is where you're going to create this angle effect. So I originally just took um, my angle at vertical and put it at 350 because I liked it better. Going into my appearance here, I will just create a new fill and put my first layer as this lighter pink. And then I would create another fill because I want to create this layered effect. And then I would choose this darker pink, depending on however you want to do it. And then I would go into effect, just for transform and transform. So here I have you it's up to you what you want to do i just put minus five and minus five because i want a slight difference so now you can see what it looks like now just dragging it and creating new fill because i want to keep this transform tab under my tab of appearance it would just be faster and then i just created all my fills that i want and i changed the colors so depending on how many colors you have um, how many fills you're gonna have you play with it however you want so now I'm just changing the colors to the last color. And then the fun part is that you transform and then I just put it at minus five, minus 10, minus 15. So you're gonna see what I just did here. And then going to the green, I'm gonna just put transform, put it minus 15, minus 15, both of them. So now you already see uh, the layer effect. I'm gonna finish the last one. By putting minus 20. All right, so this is the final look. This is your layered effect. What's fun about this is that you can always go back and change your text. So you don't have to always go back into your layers and change every single layer, um, which is pretty cool. Now I'm just saving my document because I'm going to be using this for my banners. Uh, this is going to be the base of it and always save every single document. All right, so now is the time to create my banner. So now I'm just going to go into uh, opening a new file. And the banner size that I'll be using would be 970 by 250. Now it's your choice to decide what size banner you want. But I personally like it better because if I want to create a website banner and I want it to be big and visible, this would be the perfect fit. So here I already have my preset for 970px and 250px. So I'm just going to click on create. So now here I have my banner. I'm just going to copy paste my uh, original layered type effect and just make it a bit bigger. Okay, so now I want to create my background fill. My background fill will be in my swatches. It would be my lightest pink. So now I'm just going to create a rectangle to create my background. So just grabbing the tool, I would create it like so. And I will go in my swatches. Now you'd notice that they're not here. I would just go back and go and use it to find and fatty. Perfect. So now you just drag it and you put it in your swatches. Now I pick my color, which would be the lightest pink that I have in my color palette. And because uh, you see it in the front, I would just go back into my layers like so and put it in the back. Now we want to create a second artboard. So what you just have to do is that you have to select, go into your artboard and just alt and slide so now this is going to create my second artboard same dimensions i'm just going to change the text because 
I want my banner to have um, two different texts. It's up to you how many you want. You can put five, four, up to you. So now I'm just going to save my document and I'm going to put my dimension on it because in case you want to do different dimensions, you always have your documents that have it. Then you want to save your document as a JPEG. What you want to do here before is that you want to select your first artboard, go into save and export safer web. And then here, just make sure that you only selected one artboard and then you click save. I would just put here uh, one because this is my first artboard and then my second one, I would just select it. Same thing, export safer web and then save it. Everything is good and put it my second because it's my second banner. So now that everything is saved, I'm going to go back and I'm going to work on my mock-up. So when you see here, I have my first mock-up. I don't want all those layers and I don't want to show all those iPads and the pencil. So what I want to do is I just want to hide them and I'm going to just delete those layers. It's up to you if you want to work with all of those layers. I'm also just going to change my background because it's the fastest way to work. And here you see my fatty swatches are still here. Perfect. So now that I changed it, I'm just going to go here into my iPad Pro and I'm going to just delete some layers that I don't want to have. It's up to you if you want to keep those layers. I personally don't feel like I need them and I feel like I just want the tablet to be um, have just a contrast that the black. So I'm just hiding those. You don't need to delete them. I'm just hiding them and then after always save the document because if you don't save it when you go back into your original mock-up you won't see the differences so now i just saved it and then i'm just going to close it because i don't need it anymore and this is my mock-up here i'm just moving and i'm going to rotate my ipad only because with the screenshot of the website that i have i would just look better so now here i just have it like that and then clicking on to put your own design here. You're gonna just double click on that and then you can just cancel this. Then you wanna change your canvas size. So it's really important because if you don't change it, uh, when you go back into your mock-up, it's not gonna work. So here by changing my canvas size, I'm just gonna put the opposite. So here in the first one, I'm gonna put 2313 and the second one is 1727. So then just proceed and you're gonna see what it looks like. So now I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna drag the screenshot that I have taken from a website. Now you have to make sure that you have a website that you can use. If it's your friend's website, if it's someone else's website, you have to have permission for it. So now here, I'm just gonna place my uh, screenshot however I want. It's up to you. So now just by creating this, you have all your layers. I'm just gonna here create a new layer. I'm gonna go into the screen shot layer i'm just going to zoom in a little bit and i'm going to select and copy and paste it into the first layer so this is just going to create my um, banner for the website right there and just slide it like that then going back into my layers i just want to hide or you can always delete the layers that you don't need so now i'm just hiding those layers and i'm just going to go back into my original ipad mock-up and save it so now you have it right there and I'm gonna save it as a PSD file here I'm just gonna name my document fatty mockup iPad and a PSD file and I'm just gonna save it into my documents like so okay and I have it saved perfect so now going back into my website, I'm just going to save this first so you can see what it looks like on the iPad mockup. So now going back, you're going to see that it looks like this. So don't be scared or alarmed. The easy way to do it is that you just click and select your layer and you just rotate it. Pretty easy. Make sure to save it as well. Perfect. So now I just saved it now and then I would go back. And that's when I would create my banner. So when you want to create your banner, always make sure to create a new layer. Like so. And then you would just drag and create a rectangle. 
you want to fill it with a light gray this is um what i wanted to do you can always pick another color as a background of a banner i personally like it better as a light gray because i've seen them all around the internet then i'm just gonna adjust the rectangle because i don't want it to be saved and have uh, white lines on the sides so it looks like this i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna show you what it looks like on the ipad it looks like this it looks pretty good so now what i want to do is that i just want to make it a tad bigger because i want it to show in my pictures just like that and always saving it going back into my website i just want to get rid of those little details and just make it as clean as possible so i'm just gonna create a new layer right there and I'm going to grab my rectangle and just drag and fill it with white. Alright, so now grabbing the white, just OK. Perfect. So now you have it right there. It's good. And you also just want to save your document. <laughs> then you want to insert your banners so i have here my gpic files that i had saved originally in the beginning of this video and i also have my old ones that i have done for my keto project the bar so now i'm just inserting this here i'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and you can make it as big as you want you decide the size that you want i'm just playing with it just like so and then that looks pretty good to me yeah make sure that it's also centered and that you save your document by selecting my banner here I am also going to create a smart object so just going here and convert to smart object I'm going to just double click on it it's going to open me this so now make sure to always save everything and now I'm just going to drag one of my files that I have here, like so. So this is one of the banners and I'm just going to save this. Like so. I'm going to go back into the website. You're going to see it. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to go into my iPad and I'm going to save it here. Export it as for web. Make sure to identify every single one and name them. So here I'm going to save it as number two, like so. Save it. Like this. Alright, so now I'm going to go back into my banner. And I'm going to go back into my file. And I'm going to drag my other pictures. So now these are the, the ones that I had done previously. You don't need to have... Uh, banners that are already done for this project you can just do writing it's up to you so same thing here I'm saving this I'm going back into my website I'm going to save it and going back into my iPad I'm going to save this as well save export save for web legacy just like so and I'm going to number it three and save going back I'm gonna do the last one which would be my green bar and again I'm just grabbing it and dragging it and making it big enough for the screen like that perfect so now you just save it going back into my website you save it again and then into the iPad as well I'm going to go back into export save for web and you want to name this here it's good save and name it number four and then you have all your pictures and you're ready to create your GIF here we have a website gif maker me that we work with it's just faster and easier to work with so now you just want to upload your images 
and you're gonna see once they're upload you can always switch them and change the order of the gif Down like that and then you can always change the speed so I want it to be a bit faster you can always put it however you want and then I'm gonna put it at 350 I find that it's a nice look like so I'm just gonna scroll down create gif animation and download the gif so allow and then you have the gif in your files all right, so here's the final result. We hope you enjoyed watching these decks where we created this GIF using layered type effects with Photoshop and Illustrator. Feel free to upload your design as well. We would love to see it. You can always subscribe to Dex and stay in the loop with us. Thank you so much.